There was no general questions of, what's Halo about? <laughs> you know, the usual things you might get in a junket. We like the general questions too, it's okay. <laughs> okay yeah, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, you know what, I wouldn't even want to try those suits in the summertime, I wouldn't want to do it. It's changed me. Guys, hello, welcome to London. How do you feel about UK audiences getting to see Halo? Yeah, it's fantastic. And for Paramount to be here too, it's uh, it's a great service, you know, so much content on there. So I'm happy it's finally here. It's And I, people, I can stop answering questions of people, when when is the show coming? When's it coming to the UK? When, when, when? And obviously it's based on the video game. Did you guys, were you playing the video game? Because for me, I was always really rubbish at it. I'm not very good at them at all. Did you know much about it beforehand? Yeah, Natasha's actually uh, semi-pro. She's <laughs> competed in a few uh, Halo events. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I guess my, my household, is uh, they're all kind of devotees of Halo from 2001 or whenever. So it's, it's, been, it's been there. It's been the mood music in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so it was fun to kind of dig in a little deeper and get to find out about it properly from the perspective of a character and um, bringing it to TV world. I played it when I was in college, but just at friends' houses. I didn't have a sense of it really as a story game. So that was, for me, that was the most interesting part, is learning that it wasn't just a you know, place where you could go shoot your friends in a private room. <laughs> it was actually this, this really well drawn out and in-depth story over the course of all the mainline games, but then, of course, all the media outside as well that's been released for the past 20 years on it. It's just a, a very, very rich and deep uh, mythology and lore. And the fans of the video game are so dedicated so did you feel the pressure of making this a series with them in mind? <laughs> you know, I, I was pretty ignorant of that particular world when we started out, so which was probably a good thing. So I felt we had a lot of creative freedom and we weren't trying to duplicate a video game. We were trying to make a TV show. So I think what was interesting was then seeing how incredibly dedicated and committed and devotional the following had been. That was a real eye-opener. And also the level of, even the journalists within those gaming communities, they're so erudite and smart and specific in their questioning. And I ended up, yeah, really enjoying the junket in, in, um, in Austin. Yeah, uh, South by Southwest. Wasn't it? It was just great. It was yeah. so specific. Yeah. Um, everyone had done their homework, there was no general questions of what's Halo about? <laughs> you know, the usual things you might get in a junket. So I really appreciated the, a lot of the, the feedback that we got. Well, I'm not as knowledgeable, so I'm sorry if my questions aren't as good. No, it's, uh, <laughs> I just mean you're on the hot spot with it. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. like the general questions too, it's okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you're, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> and you obviously play a Spartan. That suit looks so hot and heavy. How hard does it film when I know Yeah, it's tough, it's tough. I think I'm actually, tomorrow I'm going to FBFX uh, makes the suits here in London. It's a, a house that makes a lot of special effects uh, wardrobe for, for film and TV. And uh, I'm going over there to, to try on the new iteration of the suit. So we learned some lessons in season one about, uh, you know, potentially how to make it better, how to make it a little more streamlined, a little lighter, and uh, hopefully a little more mobile so that you're able to move a little better. Um, it's a challenge, it's a Herculean challenge. There's, there's no, no question about it. Not just for what it takes to be able to perform in it, but for being able to make it look like it's a suit that doesn't, that's not just a bunch of plastic piled onto you, but it actually makes you superhuman. Uh, and so the challenge of, of shooting it in a way that feels like that, that makes it feel authentically uh, aiding to your process, and, uh, and to get your you know, performance ability and your body to a place where you can create a look that, that feels uh, powerful and fast and all of those things. And on top of all of that, you've got the locations as well. I know a lot of it was done in post CGI and everything, but it just looks like a dry, hot heat. What was it like filming on those locations? Well, thankfully, actually, we last season we did not uh, shoot much in the summertime. We shot in the fall, we shot in the winter, we shot in the spring, but we, we luckily skipped summer entirely. Um, and we're, this season we're going to do the same. We're, we're yeah, catching the tail end, it, yeah, yeah, tail end of summer. So it'll be hot for the first few weeks, and then things will cool off. So I, I you know what, I wouldn't even want to try those suits in the summertime. I wouldn't want to do it. It would be really, really tough. I mean, that's a health and safety issue, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> they were amazing, all of them. That they were so resilient and uncomplaining, mm -hmm. and um, they, you had your method down, didn't you? Of like 
remo <laughs> removing various bits that were easily removable. And then, yeah, take some um, off when you yeah. can. And the stunt people, really, they were they were the real heroes, man. Because uh, when we we got it, we s shot all the stunt action sequences in the last four months of the season. We had like kind of packaged it all together. And so we were going from one big battle to another with no no break in between of like a dialogue scene or something like that. It was just all all action all the time. And so the the stunt people, you know, ended up being in those suits 14 hours a day for three or four months straight. You know, and we would come in and you know we were in it a lot, but. But this, uh, I especially commend the stunt people. There were a few of those guys that were just tanks and, and girls too. They the just amazing, amazing performers. Yeah, proper warriors. And just finally then, what has been the coolest thing about being in this series? You go. Um, you know, I would I would say just the, the honor of getting to bring this IP and this franchise to the screen. You know, it's been, it's been in development for many, many years in many, many different iterations. It's been a long wait to get it to this point. Um, so it really is an honor not just to be a part of Halo, but to get to play the Master Chief. It's a huge, huge honor, a huge responsibility, and one that I'm, I'm really grateful that's been thrust on my shoulders and, and really excited to take it to the next level. You know, we're working on season two now, and. Um, some of the material I've been seeing is just spot on, and I'm really, really excited with where we're going with it. So couldn't couldn't be more happy. And for you, and can I just say your character is just so cool anyway. <laughs> oh, well, I think similarly being sort of catapulted into a space and a kind of landmass that I maybe normally wouldn't inhabit in terms of my set of interests, it took me to weird and wonderful podcasts and books mm. and interviews and um, then, yeah, the Halo lore itself and the combination of those two things, I, and I'm kind of addicted now. Uh, um, <laughs> it's changed me, yeah. It's changed my perspective on a lot of things. So uh, that's what's great about acting is, is, yeah, you get to dive deep into other people's worlds and lives and it's always fascinating. Well, thank you very much for your time. I hope everyone brings you really nice questions today, really inquisitive <laughs> questions now. <laughs> thank you Yours so were much. pretty darn good. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Thank you. <laughs>